right now here I'm very close to going through the end to take on the final boss. Yes, as usual in survival horror games I end up with hordes of items and ammunition because I'm always afraid to use them because I'm afraid I will run short. And then it ends up at the end I have tons of extra and saying to myself, why did I not use these items before? <laughs> all right, so what I'm doing is I'm loading up the door with all the stuff to get in so I can get to the cutscene. No. no, no, I don't want to. Not very Do kind. What mommy tells you now. Jeez, mom. Just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. Oh, what a wonderful mom. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good. Too. If this was a new modern game, this might be a triggering event, oh, causing no, a mommy, big I'm hysteria amongst you. some people. Just two of us. Please understand. Maybe mommy has been wrong. What, trying to pull you wasn't wrong mommy. enough? Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. Say what? I could have done it all myself. So is she a feminist? Mommy? In all seriousness, that's, uh, this is a darn right eerie game, and granted, for the graphics for the time, and this was PlayStation 1, they were absolutely stellar, but what really stands out even today is the music. The audio and the background, the, the tones, and, and things, it just really sets a nice, wonderful, eerie atmosphere. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. Now I saved her, uh, the other option was to not, but I saved her so she's in the ending for me. Did you hear that? Because of that man. Ooh, triggering again. That's not very nice. Shot her so or hit her so hard that the background disappeared. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Whoa. He's on pissed off, dude. She's right. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? Why did I wait so long to play this game? It's been a long seven years. I had it sitting on my shelf for more than seven for years. Seven years since that terrible day. That was one thing I wonder. How come I let this game sit on my shelf so long without playing it? Huh. My next one I decided to conquer up this one is uh, Clock Tower. Maybe I'll, I don't know, t talk about that too. Dun dun dun. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. That chick is Everyone nuts. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. We're all going to Disneyland. This is the day of reckoning. Oh, 
Well, I guess that's not good. All our sorrows will be washed away. You mean they're pulling Dan Slott off of writing Spider-Man? When we return to the true paradise. That would be a paradise. That book sucks right now. My daughter will be the mother of God. Wait, what? what? Oh, dear. Can anybody else see that? was a bright light. Take that. Look at that. Around. That jerk from before. before. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. Get away with this. He never was very nice to you in the game. You're right, Rizzo. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you could accomplish by coming here? Well, he did shoot you. My, aren't we getting cocky? Then again, she isn't dead. No, originally I found it and you took it from me. Ha, you're easy. And there's more with this game. Yes, I scraped some up and put it in the bottle. Look at that throw. Everything gets slow to show seriousness. As we see the whatever chemical stuff makeup of that is will hit her. And what will be the dramatic ending? Huh? What the? Uh, Mr. Coffin? I thought that was supposed to end her. She's laughing. I don't think that ended her. But Mr. Kaufman may have overestimated the potency of this chemical concoction. Yeah, I, I don't think that's what was expected to happen. I mean, when I get my wife in it. Okay. Now a big, big, new creature. I have to get the inner ash, I think, for this. Can't just go. Yeah, it's shot in time. This is my boomstick. Yes, I have so much health and ammunition. I can stand here and shoot it out like a man. Not gonna do a whole lot of fancy running. I mean, look at this. I've got plenty. Because once again, that's where hoarding pays off, I suppose. Hold up the boomstick. Let's bring the pain. Oh yeah. Get some butt, baby. If only I had a chainsaw. Better. Get a little better here before I get myself killed. Only in video games, push a potion pill or some kind of heal you and make you okay. Whereas normally it might take a week to get rid of a rash. That's right, I have ammo and health to burn. I will take this like a man. If I die, I'll be embarrassed. I'll just redo the video. <laughs> No, I'd, I'd die like a man to show it. That'd make a good video too, an epic fail. Alright, let's load that up. You're gonna go down. This is a PlayStation 1 game. I decided to play it on PlayStation 2. Now I'm gonna finish you off. Did I do it? Jeez, jeez. 
Catherine takes some care of it. I guess I'm not frugal with ammo. <laughs> yeah, it was poor humor. Better heal up again. So anyway, yes, I'm playing this on the uh, PlayStation 2, but the actual PlayStation 1 game. I have the PlayStation 1 hardware as well, but I decided to play it through the PlayStation 2. Oh, would you look at that? Finally, I'm like, filling it. A poor excuse for a Batman if that would This is a long ending for a video game. There's that bright light again. Oh, the classic, everything's going down. Could it be? Yes, the whole place is rumbling and fire burning, but I'm just gonna stand here take my sweet old time. Really? No babies were injured in the making of this game. But evil women that turn into bats were. Take a sip of my coffee while I'm. Oh, look at that! There she is. She's alive too. Go figure. I was wondering if I saved her just to have her be backhanded and killed. Oh, Mr. Kaufman survived too. What a pity! Oh, fuck. settles that. Well, Mr. Kaufman, looks like you get a fate you deserve. What you get for putting your, pulling your gun on me in the garage when I was finding that chemical. Finally, if we ran sooner, this might not have been as bad anymore. To the light! To the light! There's some light again, come to think of it. It's beautiful. I mean, really, what's the sound on this? Audio was fantastic. I mean, gra the graphics may be in comparison today, but even for the time, they're fantastic. And this is not the HD remake. Once again, this is the original version. I wonder if they find it very cold outside since they're running in without a coat and it seems, well maybe it's not snow, I don't know, maybe it's, I think it's like an ash actually, come to think of it. And here's the credits, I think what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to cut some of the credits short so I don't make this video longer than it has to be and shut, uh, cut to the very ending scenes of the game. Ultimately, I really did enjoy this game, and I wonder why I left it sitting on my shelf for so many years. I mean, I didn't buy it when it first came out. Um, I, I bought it a little later, but still, it wasn't... I mean, it was still during the PlayStation's lifetime for the PlayStation 1 that I bought it. And it just sat on my shelf. I never got to it. As a matter of fact, uh, another game I have on my shelf that's been sitting there for years is Clock Tower. And I also have Clock Tower 2 and 3. I also have the second Silent Hill and the third Silent Hill, and I really need to get on playing those. I, so I think the next one I'm going to do is Clock Tower. And see, and maybe I'll talk about the ending of that game as well. Alright, so I'm going to cut to the ending here. Konami. Back when Konami made good games. What happened? Come on, Konami.
Oh, here we go. And they have a... Okay. <laughs> and that, that's different. It, it's made it sort of like it was uh, an acted thing instead. Michael Cuff. The jerk that will pull a gun out on you and take your stuff away. Sybil. The girl you could choose to save or shoot to death and let die. Cheryl. The girl that you look all over for and wonder where the heck is she and brings you to this game. Listen. She just gave me thumbs up. Oh yes, you. Psycho nutbag. Okay, it's just freaky. As you see here, the music in this game, it's just, it's just great. makes me really want to play the second one. It'll be a little bit till I get to it. I have a lot of games in my backlog. Harry Mason. The protagonist. Alright, and I think it tells you in the end supposedly how well... Oh, yep, there it is. Let's see, I was playing it... Yes, I was playing it on normal difficulty, not on some easy mode. Uh, game clear. I got the good plus ending, and yes, I save games like a madman. Once again, I go and skimp out and using as much ammo and supplies as possible and stretch it along, so I save a lot. 57, oh my goodness, somebody's going to call me out on that one. But look, I did get 178 out of 204 items in the game. I think that's pretty good, considering this was my first time playing the game. I didn't play it through multiple times, this was it. Uh, let's see, defeated enemies by 588. Notice how many by shooting only 42. As I said, I conserve ammo. <laughs> a lot of short range shots. I waited till they were close to conserve ammo. And of course I'm going to save it. All right, Frugal fans, that was me defeating this game. I appreciate you watching and just sharing a little bit of Silent Hill with me. I hope you enjoyed.